Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject. We're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your fifth house. This could be for you. You know the drill, guys. Thank you for all the support, liking, sharing, subscribing. It all helps the channel grow. It's very much appreciated. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Leo, what's going on? Thank you for your patience. I've been moving and battling the broadband, which is still up in the air at the moment. So fingers crossed that all works itself out so let's uh so yeah manifest for me get this broadband sorted thank you guys let's uh do one more what have we got oh leo we have the eight of wands the eight of fire okay something's moving quickly mercury in sagittarius um, so the magician meets the temperance card which does indicate energies that are very very positive Hmm. How interesting. There's something that feels like you could be waiting on something or maybe... Right, I'm focus on the, the, the divide of the paths here. It feels like you might be going separate ways from different people, situations. But ultimately, they all meet in the big lake. So you could be maybe at a crossroads or a decision to make, or you're trying to see something from a higher perspective. It doesn't matter which path you take. It's all going to come full circle. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Nice. Oh, I really hope temperance comes out. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay, interesting. Okay, this is a this is a message for to for somebody to just completely completely trust a process here. Um, it feels like there's decisions that are going to be made. Um, maybe a physical physical moving away from something, and you're being asked to trust something. For some of you, this is this is a powerful energy of I'm being used as a as a as a channel for somebody's kind of love note here, um, which is quite sweet. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. We've got the star card, fantastic. So the star card is Uranus. Uranus is currently in your 10th house, May, putting an emphasis on to be seen. Um, you're, you're on a path towards some sort of success and it feels like there could be hesitation maybe because you have to leave certain aspects behind. And it's it's like it's like the universe is promising that, oh, this could be a, a love interest that's promising you, um, telling your higher self to just go for it because you will meet in the lake. If that makes sense. How interesting. Page of cups with messenger of water, four of earth, seven of air, witch of fire, six of cups, seven of earth, the shaman, five of earth, the fool. Messenger of Fire, which is the Page of Wands. Journey and Rebirth. Yeah. The journey is all, and this is kind of, it's card 15, which would be the devil, but it's actually the chariot. It's a weird deck, is this? It works backwards. The journey is going to reach this, this, whatever this lake is. Um, so, now, the reason why I feel like this is somebody's higher self love letter to somebody Ace of Fire, what we're aware of is the Ace of Fire, the Ace of Wands. 
there is there's something about a passion a a soul's urging a new beginning what we're not aware of is the five of fire the five of fire is a case of these butterflies are all kind of really gone through a growth and i almost feel like they're at different levels now this would to me suggest that you have a certain path to maybe continue growth to continue going down a certain way and trusting that who's supposed to be for you will follow suit the recent past we have the council of all beings this is the magician in this deck is card 21 like i say it goes backwards so that would be the world so if you think the world and the magician it's like you've been given the power of everything an ability to create your reality but in doing so it feels like you're having to leave behind certain aspects people place of situations your advice is the six of fire six of fire is one of your cards it's jupiter in uh, leo so the wheel of fortune meets strength it's card 10 card 8 108 something significant about 108 it's bringing together all elements if we think you know there's 108 sun salutations there's 108 um beads at uh, mala beads it's a very significant number in hindu mythology buddhism um but what i like most about the um, 108 is the connection between all elements and spirit if you picture you know a pentagram so we've got um spirit to earth to water nope doesn't matter. I'm going to get it wrong. There is a set way, but spirit to earth, to water, to air, to fire, back to spirit. There's the, you know, your five um, elements. And then if you actually enclose it all, so you, you're creating a, a pentagon, each individual, um, uh, oh God, why have I gone blank? Each individual angle is 108 degrees. So 108 brings together all the elements. There's something very, very powerful about that. And you're being asked to just trust your journey and just trust there's something here about love will always win in the end. We've got a heart that's been made by these two dragonflies here. The five plus the ace equals the six. Visualization of success, visualizing the end product, you are going to get there. The outcome is Saturn in Pisces, the eight of water. And this is you all coming together, everything arriving at that lake, some faster than others, some in the shadows, some in the light. But it's like you've been promised something here. And I almost feel like for some of you, this is a love letter. Because if we look at eight, eight of fire, six of fire, eight of water, eight, six, eight, if you type that into Gematria, um, if memory serves me right, I'm sure, because I remember looking one time, and I'm, I'm sure it says from the heart. So it's like somebody's message from the heart here is to say, go for it. Become that success. We will catch up. I will catch up. I'll see you at the finish line. There's something about just going all heart into your passions, into your what your heart desires. Like I say, there is no bigger emphasis right now for you guys individually individually like i said uranus could be anywhere in your chat but for leo it's in your 10th house the 10th house for you guys is ruled by taurus uranus is in taurus and it's still going to be there for another couple of years take advantage of of expect the unexpected in the realm of how you're seeing success in career really marching forward take advantage of this energy because it's wonderful absolutely wonderful i am going to check out the six of swords because i kind of feel like you're on some sort of journey here and the six of swords is mercury in in aquarius which is the magician meets the star card and we've got them both here how interesting let's um let's see what's going on
Beautiful. Okay. So the six of air is with the world, which normally would be the magician. Uh, so major completion of a cycle. And then we have the four of air. Now the four of air is the four of swords, which is Jupiter in Libra. So the wheel of fortune meets justice, divine timing, um, fated events, you know, karma, dharma. You're being asked to trust a process here. You're being asked to go for it because success is guaranteed. Look at that last card, seven of fire. Seven of fire is Mars in Leo. Mars is catching up with Uranus this month. In fact, in the next sort of 10 days, Mars is going to be at the same degree as Uranus. And it's going to give you this boost, this emphasis on marching forward. If you're hesitant in any way of that next stage of your life, if especially if you're hesitant based on having to maybe leave certain aspects behind, do not hesitate. All directions are going to lead to the big lake. You are coming together with you know trusting that love will we always win in the end. Um, and love doesn't have to be a romantic aspect, just in general. And you, you're gonna you're gonna reach. And how interesting that we had the world card when we went looking for the six of swords and that's saturn saturn rules the 10th house as well so it's like all the emphasis here is for you to be seen guys you're, you're the lion you're the leader y'all you're, you're supposed to be seen you know you're um you rule the aspect of uh, of the heart chakra I'm, I'm i would say to you go for it whatever it is if you're holding back in any any sense whatsoever don't there is a there is a message from the heart here someone is saying they they will catch up they will they will find a way to meet you at the finish line how oh, lovely in your extended what should we do we'll clarify these because i kind of want to touch on this etheric love letter uh, but i also want to see because you, you're on the path to success here in, in whatever format that is. As long as you're following your passions and following your heart, you will be successful. And there's like this promise of they will they will see you at the finish line. Lovely. So we'll clarify these. Uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. We have Mercury in Sagittarius. We have Saturn in Leo, Gemini Virgo, uh, Jupiter in Leo, Saturn in Pisces, Aquarius, Sun in Capricorn, Moon in Aquarius, Sun in Scorpio, Saturn in Taurus. We have Virgo, Mercury in Taurus, Gemini Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Venus in Cancer, Mars in Aries, Venus in Aries. We have Fire, which is Wands. We have Cups. We have Pentacles and we have Swords. Everyone's here, those in the stand-ups, let me know. Take care. See you soon. Bye.